This is episode two, and we're going to be talking about the different types of filing strategies, different types of, uh, of patent filings that you can make uh, in the U.S. There are basically three different types of patent filings that you can do as a first filing in the U.S. The first is a provisional patent. Provisional patent is more of a draft application and it'll provide you with a filing date for your invention and hold the date for up to a year. So after a year the provisional application dies. Uh, and the reason for filing a provisional is where the idea is in flux. So say the idea is in development, you want to get a first filing on, but you think there's also going to be some further development that you're going to have to undertake to sort of finalize the idea, then one or more provisionals can help you there. So they're, they're quick and simple to file. They don't require all of the materials of a standard filing, so they don't need claims. The drawings don't have to be up to the same spec as for the non-provisional, and uh, they can be filed relatively quickly. In fact, any type of disclosure that you have could be filed. It needs to have enough technical disclosure that someone skilled in the art would be able to understand the invention from that filing. The second type is a non-provisional filing. So non-provisional filing is a full patent application. That's one that will go uh, before the USPTO to be examined and you'll get some feedback from the examiner and then you argue about the novelty of your invention from there. So that's a non-provisional application. So the advantages with a provisional application is more flexibility. If the idea is going to change or you need something quickly on file, then a provisional is a better way to go. The official fees are also lower. They're about uh, 65 for a micro entity or 130 for a small entity at the, at the moment. Non-provisional is a full application. It's going to be examined by the, um, by the patent office and it could mature into a patent. Filing fees are higher and it gives you less flexibility, but it'll head towards a patent sooner. The third option, which I haven't mentioned yet, is a PCT filing. That's Patent Cooperation Treaty. And the Patent Cooperation Treaty filing is like a non-provisional, so it's a full patent application, but it's filed with the uh, WIPO office in Switzerland and will give you protection worldwide for 30 months from the filing date. So it's important to keep in mind that it gives you a little bit more time to protect your invention, but it's a priority uh, process. It doesn't actually mature into a patent. A PCT filing will need subsequent national filings, which can protect in each country that you're looking at. So I'll discuss the PCT a little bit later in filing strategies, but it's, it's a, if you have um, a substantial invention that you plan to file in a number of different countries, then a PCT filing may give you the best options there, and it gives you the longest delay period in the beginning of 30 months. The other two applications give you up to 12 months to file international applications. So more on that later, but basically you have the three filings, provisional, flexible, can be filed quickly, you have one year to file a non-provisional to continue your protection. Non-provisional, that's a full application. Once you file those, one of those, nothing more needs to be done and it'll proceed through the system. PCT application, if you're looking at a lot of international filings down the road and you want to look for investors and or try to bring your product to market in the meantime before incurring higher patent costs, PCT may be a good option for you. But the PCT filing costs are very high compared to the other two in the neighborhood of sort of $2,000. Thank <laughs> you.